Aloha, this is Hawaii's Only. Today, we'll be showing you how to make the perfect Spam Musubi. I'm going to be going over how to cut the Spam so you have uh, even slices and how to make a teriyaki sauce. So to cut Spam, it's super simple. You just start by cutting the Spam in half and then in half again. Once you have this last section or a quarter, you're going to take this and cut it in thirds. And that gives you 12 even slices of Spam for your uh, Spam Musubis. After you've got your even slices of Spam, um, you're going to put it in a frying pan. For me, I use two frying pans, non-stick Teflon, and I cook at a medium heat. Do not cook on high. You're going to cook this for about seven to eight minutes per side. To make the sauce, it's easy. You take half a cup of sugar, three-fourths cup of shoyu. Um, I I, in here, I put some Lily Koi chili pepper water, but that is absolutely optional. If you don't have it, you do not need it. And then I mix in about a tablespoon of honey. You throw this mixture into the, the frying pan of Spam the last five minutes and then you let it reduce so it turns to a nice thick type syrupy um, texture and your Spam is really well marinated. And it looks like this right there. So everybody, always only, um, this is not a catch and cook video, but this is a how to video. I'm sitting down because when I make these videos, it's extremely exhausting. So I'm just chilling today. but. I wrote some footage, we got some b-roll of, uh, it's all three second clips, how to cut your spam. <laughs> because everybody, you know, kind of get the tin spam, the tick spam, square spam. So I showed you guys how to cut spam, how to be efficient with that. Uh, I showed you guys how to make uh, just a regular crispy um, spam like this, okay? Crispy, crispy. Then we took um, our other spam, we made a teriyaki sauce using uh, shoyu, um, honey, sugar, and this one we actually put, I tasted it, it's so good. All right, so I was telling you guys about the um, humble food design. Get a close up of that. You see that? As you can see, my bottle's pretty much gone because I, it's good. But um, yeah, humble food design, Lily Koi chili pepper water. That's these most of these right here. So to get started, you're gonna need your spam. You got rice, I've got nori, I've got a cutting board. I've got a spam uh, musher or smusher as my son likes to, like to call this. A bowl of water and a place to put our musubi. So it's, it's pretty simple. Uh, first thing we do is take our nori, lay it down. There's two sides to the nori. There's a shiny side and there's kind of like a gritty side. I always put the gritty side or the shiny side down so it's the outside of my musubi. Okay, it's up to you. It really doesn't matter, but this is what I was taught when I used to work at a sushi bar. The shiny side goes on the outside. So you lay down your nori, you take your uh, rectangle musher. If you don't have one of these, um, I don't know if I put this in before, uh, put, said this before, but I'm gonna show you guys how to um, how to make a musubi without this uh, musubi maker. You take your piece of spam, lay it down. You take some rice, put that bugger in. And in this part, it's all up to you. It's all judgment. You can put more rice, you can put less rice. If you ever went to 7-Eleven, they'd show like three cups of rice on top of the Spam. But it's all it's all up to you. And then, um, because I don't have my, because I don't have the top of my rice, uh, most of you make, I'm just gonna push it down on my rice panel. Okay, so you push all this rice down. Push that out. Then, Take this and you lift up your musubi maker. Use the back of the handle to kind of slide the rice off. Okay. And then you just take one side of the nori, wrap it. The other side, wrap it. And that's all there is to it. Spam was to be. We put this on the side to cool. You're gonna notice that. Um, so from here, you can any you can eat it fresh just like this. Sometimes the nori is a little bit tough or crunchy, which is totally cool. It's good. Um, you eat it. It's like a fresh musubi. But a lot of people let this sit on the side. The moisture from the rice and the spam and the heat will actually it won't melt the nori, but it'll soften the nori. So by the time you're done or Paul making all these musubis, this first one that you made, it's gonna be nice and soft. Or if you saran wrap each one individually, 
it'll soften up the nori so when you eat it, it's not chewy or crunchy. Okay, so that's how you make musubis. Now, um, that's how you make it with the musubi. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how to make a spam musubi without the, uh, the musubi maker. So some people have lost it, they don't have one, or uh, like me, it broke. So the way you make a spam musubi without the musubi maker, it's not as pretty, but it still works. First thing you gotta do is you gotta wet your hands. Okay. Not a lot, just, just a little bit. And then you're gonna put the rice inside your hand. You wanna put about, um, just, just about, uh, about a cup and a half of rice. So it's gonna look like this. Okay? And then you just wet your hands a little bit so it doesn't stick. Shaking off excess water. And then you're just gonna make like a, uh, a rice ball like this. Okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two fingers and just flatten it out. So it's gonna look like that. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna spin the rice and flatten it out again. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. And then you just keep doing that. Okay? Here, you spin. And then what you do, you take your two fingers here and you're just gonna kinda top off the rice like that. So you spin, top, spin, top, spin. So you just keep doing that until you get a nice kind of uh, rectangle shape. So it looks like this like that. So yeah, there you go. Okay, then we take our spam, we lay it on top of our nori. You take your rice ball. Whew, this is nicer than that one actually. Usually you do this without gloves and then the rice won't stick, but I have gloves on it. I don't know why I should just take them out. I'm not serving nobody. Okay. This is for me. You take this. Do the same thing. Right here. Right here. Little flip skis. And you got yourself a moose with me. Alright, you guys. I got the thin one. I got the medium one. And I got the big rice ball right here. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, how to make Spam Musubis, how to cut your Spam Musubi. Don't be like that guy on TikTok, who cut the Spam? If you haven't seen it, it's a hilarious video, a bunch of kids, um, somebody cut the Spam, all funny kind. But um, yep, um, how to cut the Spam, how to make your teriyaki sauce, how to do a different version with the uh, Lily Koi Chili Pepper Water. Uh, this is another episode of how to make Spam Musubis. It's Hawaii's only. Uh, comment, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'll see you guys uh, on Saturday. Aloha.